Beauty and the Beast, the live action movie, has finally been released, and today we're gonna look at a few of their Funko items, pops and orbs. If you guys are as excited for the new live action movie as I am, then you are very excited to see the new Funko line and Dorbs line that's out. The pops are so yes. detailed, they look so great, and the Dorbs, of course, are always chibi and cute. But before we get into the review, let's have a little bit of backstory and history. What's really interesting about Beauty and the Beast is it can be traced back to French novelist Gabrielle Suzanne Barbeau de Villeneuve in 1740. How exciting is that? Old, really very old. Very old. Yeah. So if you guys thought Beauty and the Beast was written by Disney in the 1940s, 19th... no. <laughs> 91 or whatever it was, it wasn't. This is an old French yes. story. Actually, it's been rewritten several times. Yeah, to get to the point where it is right. now in Disney. And I, obviously, these have been taken from like Shakespeare. You know, it's kind of the common thing. We, we know the story. You turn mm -hmm. somebody into something that's ugly, yada, yada, yada. Right. It's been done many, many times. <laughs> but what's really cool is Walt Disney actually tried to make what we now know Beauty and the Beast in the 1930s and the 1950s. He wanted to make an animation of it. But it didn't work in the 30s or the 50s. Right. He didn't actually do it properly until after 1989 when Little Mermaid came out where he got enough confidence to say, hey, right. I know how to do this now. And then Beauty and the Beast came out in 1991 and really is one of their best movies of all time. It's probably the best in my opinion. And you know what? Third time's the charm. Right? Yeah. So obviously this is the live action version of Beauty and the Beast. So far Disney has actually done really nice with a lot of these live action films. Oh yeah, Cinderella was very well done, very detailed. The Jungle Book was amazing. Yeah, Jungle Book was great. So now here we are with Beauty and the Beast. A That's something to take on. The Beauty and the Beast has some of the craziest cinematography and animation. It was actually mm -hmm. the first time we saw 3D animation <laughs> when they did the ball scene when they were dancing in the ball oh, and the favorite. camera spun unbelievable it was like whoa is this I 2D know. or 3D I wanted to be her so bad so here we are now with the live action film Beauty and the Beast we're going to take a look at some of these pops and dorbs and really kind of break down these things because these things are super super detailed yes they are so let's get started all right first off we're going to start off with the main man the Beast <laughs> so there are two versions of the Beast this is the original regular version of the Beast and then there's also a hot topic exclusive flocked beast so flocked is when it's fuzzy that's when they put like the felt material on them that you've probably seen on old christmas decorations. a lot of people aren't real crazy about the design i personally like the look of it because it actually takes from the french film one of the first beauty and the beast films from 1946 so it's a lot closer to that yeah when i first saw this i was hesitant like everyone else was i kind of thought i don't know it looks a little strange but then when i saw the original 1946 film i thought wow they really pulled elements from that film and created it for this movie i mean it is live action it'd be really hard I guess. I mean you could have made it mm -hmm. more I guess bull than beast or whatever this necessarily be but I really like the detail of the pop I think it's just a really really well sculpted pop. Up next we're going to take a look at classic Belle in her ballroom gown. This one she's holding her rose. There's also a version of her holding Lumiere with his candlestick but that is a Barnes & Noble exclusive. First and foremost my favorite thing about the pop is the filigree the gold leaf that's at the bottom of her dress. That is so well done and it looks so pretty. I love the ruffles on her dress the big bustle on the back and then she has this beautiful crown of gold leaves in her hair. That's that hair sculpt is the unbelievable. The hair sculpt is so pretty. I love how you have different tendrils of her hair, the swoop of her bangs back. It's just beautifully done. Yeah, you wouldn't really know it, I think, until you see her up close. And you know what's funny to me? This looks exactly like Emma Watson. I cannot believe it. Maybe it's the eyebrows, but I'm definitely seeing her in this pop. Up next, we're going to take a look at Belle and her celebration dress. But before that, we have three more Belle versions. We have Village Belle, which is a Walmart exclusive. Castle Grounds Bell, which is an FYE exclusive, and Belle in her garden robe, which is Target exclusive. Lots of exclusives in this line. Yes! Oh my <laughs> gosh, I'm loving this. I hope the movie is as great as these pop. <gasps> Whoa, look at all That's of cool. that in her hair, those flowers. That's so pretty. Now, I don't remember this dress from the original movie, so maybe this is something new Must that they're adding. Must be written into the new movie, yeah. I hope so. This dress is so pretty. I love the flowers, the ribbons, the bustle of flowers on the back and it wrapping around her hip. This is so well done. She even has a flower on her chest as like a little yeah. boutonniere type well, of thing. What's kind of interesting about both of these bells, the details in the back of them. I know! <laughs> <laughs> Stuff that you don't see. 
see. Yeah, you'll see the front of the pop in the box, like, pretty cool, maybe mm -hmm. kind of boring, you don't see much. But I'm telling you, all the details in the back of it. I know. I love how her hands are in all of these pops because she looks very delicate, yeah. like a flower. Yeah. I love really that. Really telling a story with that. Um, doesn't have that old pop body where they right. just She's all like, look the Mur. same. Yeah. <laughs> these are very feminine. I like that. Up next, we're going to get into Belle's sidekicks. Or, or the beasts, beasts, I guess, yeah. in a way. <laughs> Everybody knows their sidekicks, really, right? I mean, these are, these are characters in the original animation that were highly important to a kid. I feel like a lot of these sidekicks became main characters because people fell in love yeah, with them. They did. I mean, it's for many reasons. Mainly because they're like the funny one, right. the goofy one, uh, the mother. The hen. one I was say, the one who reminded me of my mom. Yeah, and that's what we fell in love with. Beauty and the Beast were cool when you're watching it as a kid. Like, ooh, scary beast, and then Belle, you know, princess. But it was all about those side characters. That's kind of every Disney movie, though. Yeah. All the good ones have that right. side character. So let's take a look at Cogsworth. If you know Cogsworth in the original animation, you know he's a clock. He's like a he's like a side table clock, like a mini grandfather clock in a way. Mm -hmm. And it looks like that's what they're doing with this one. Of course, we don't I haven't seen the movie yet. Obviously, we're going to in a few days. We're Can't really wait. excited. But talk about detail in this thing. Oh my goodness, the detail in that is so fantastic. I love the cannon on the yeah. front of that. It's very French. I mean, Beauty and the yes. Beast does take elements. Obviously, it's a French fairy tale. So we're gonna see that in the middle of you can see a cannon, you can see a pocket watch, maybe a flag. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's definitely a war. It's like almost like maybe a French war, for all I know. It's very Napoleonic. Oh, it, it, you're it, right. It's just super. I love, I mean, I don't think I've ever seen a pop with detail like this before. You know what my favorite detail about that is? In the original, in the 91 movie, he's always got his hands on his hips saying, no, 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 his yes, hands are in his hips and that pose. Didn't I even love notice it. that. And I even love how the design on the top looks like maybe like a toupee or something. Oh, you're right. <laughs> yeah. that. And I love how the Popeyes are like these tiny little know, eyes like, in the middle of it. <laughs> and just to add to the detail, the back of it even has the door that you open to get to the clock. It's internal parts. This so is cool. stellar. Up next, we're going to take a look at another sidekick, Lumiere. This Lumiere was one of my favorites. Yeah, I love Lumiere. Maybe because it was French accent. Yeah, he was all, he was just always trying to woo the girl. Yeah. I don't know. I just love him. Yeah, yeah Lumiere was right. awesome. Um, now, the design in the movie is way different. Oh, it is. But I like the design. Now, this guy, of course, you're keeping with the brass look, no doubt. But the candles. I love the candles. I love the candles. I love the French mustache as well. <laughs> yeah, even though the shoes. The shoes mm -hmm. are very ornamental. You're right. Like, it's just, it's just so cool. This is very small, but I love how he's like this little mustache. Mm -hmm. and the jacket. Uh, yes, it's just so neat. The detail in these things are really kind of crazy. This is so small, so it does have a stand, obviously, because this thing definitely wouldn't stand on itself. But mm -hmm. once again, I don't know if I can think of a line, a uh, mainstream line like something Disney that has this much detail. It's really unbelievable. I cannot wait to see Lumiere in the movie because he's such a fantastic character in the original. I can't wait to see what they're going to do with his character yeah. because I was watching some YouTube videos and people were talking about the actor who's voicing uh -huh. him and what he's doing with him. I think it's just going to knock it out of the park. Yeah, I've seen the trailer of him. He's just this little tiny yes. candle skinny guy. <laughs> He looks a lot more like a candle. Well, I guess in the original animation, he was one of those old school candles. I don't know what you call it. I'm not like a candle like aficionado. A candle yeah, it's like, like a candelabra where it's, you know, really mm -hmm. wide and right. big, where he is a very small very candle. Petite. Yeah. <laughs> Which I, I kind of like that design. Mm -hmm. It seems like he could actually move around more. He can be more like, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> the wah, wah, wah is very I, important. I don't know. But that's what he says, something like that, right? <laughs> and finally, to finish the pop line outside of exclusives, my two favorite characters other than Beauty and the Beast is Mrs. Potts and Chip. Chip is probably the best side character, in my opinion, because he's only there for just a brief time, but he's so <laughs> he's funny. A, he's a little kid that, that Mrs. Potts always has to take care of. But Mama, I'm not tired. <laughs> that was my we, favorite I mean, line. And that's the thing, depending on how old you were when Beauty and the Beast, we were lucky enough when we were... Great. When we were growing up, Disney followed us. Yes, definitely. You know, all those shows, all those movies that came out early on, that followed us because we were about the age of a lot of that stuff. We were lucky. Mm -hmm. we, we were, were so lucky, lucky you grew up in that time. So Chip was kind of like us in a way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember arguing with my mom, I'm not tired. I want to watch it one more time. Just <laughs> one more. Oh my gosh. The detail in these are <laughs> it's just amazing. The finish looks porcelain. She has so much detail in her and so does Chip. They look like fine china. Yeah, it's like vinyl china. <laughs> yes. I was nervous taking Chip out of the plastic because I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to break him. But then I remembered it's vinyl. You're not going to break it. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, that's crazy. I love how they put the little chip in there, of course, for Chip. And then he just looks so chippy and happy. 
And then Mrs. Potts just looks very, she just looks very grandmothery. She just has these pretty eyebrows. I'm so excited to see her in the movie. A complete redesign yes. from the animation. And maybe I really like it. the most dramatic of all the redesigns. Yes. Maybe Lumiere, but that's pretty dramatic as well. Mm -hmm. Just because they actually put the the designs on the front, like what you would see on China, where you have all the little mm -hmm. designs. That was definitely not the case in the animation. Right. Very. I don't want to say boring, but very plain. It was very, very plain. plain. In China. I mean, this one even has like a delicate handle on it, the lid. Everything about this looks like it's precious. Now, before we end this, we still have two dwarves to look at. So let's take a look at these. First off, we have the Entertainment Earth exclusive Flocked Beast Dwarves. So let's take a look at this guy. So if you're a Dwarves fan, like a lot of people, I think Dwarves are growing. Dwarves are starting oh, to yes. catch. Their designs are becoming a lot better. Um, I think this is one that you should probably own. If you're a Beauty and the Beast fan, Get a, I mean, you might as well get the Flocked Beast. What's the point of getting the regular? Right, well, the Flocked Beast, I like the design of it. I like the texture, the feel. I thought the horns were going to be flocked, but I'm kind of yeah. glad they're not. I probably would have liked to see them flocked, but really? either way, anything flocked, I'm a fan of. <laughs> Especially in Dorbs. I almost like Dorbs like, flocked more than a pop in a way. Really? I don't know why. I think it's because they remind me a lot of the Christmas decorations. Yeah, they're a lot smaller than the pops, yeah. so they do fit that. And I don't know, my thought would be that if you're going to buy the Beauty and the Beast line, any of the dwarves, get the flocked ones. Mm -hmm. If you're going to buy the pop, you know, get the flocked pop if you can. I agree. It, he's beast. He's hairy. He should be flocked. <laughs> he should be. His face is so goofy. He looks like like a teenage boy when Belle's coming down. Like, oh my god, <laughs> you know, he reminds me of He reminds me of Teen Wolf. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Michael J. Fox one. And finally, we have Village Bell and the Dorbs version. Which apparently they've renamed from Peasant Bell. I know, I was like, Peasant Bell, Village Bell, something <laughs> bell? Oh my gosh, guys, this is so fantastic. I love it. I love how she has her little village dress on. She's holding her book. Her cute hair is pulled back. Okay, I need to relook at Dorbs. Look how big this is. She's huge. I was thinking the same thing in my hand. She's way She's bigger, bigger than, than these. The beast. Right, what's going on with these dorbs? Look how heavy she I've is. I've seen some gigantic dorbs, and this is one of them. Um, the the difference in size from this dorb to the old school dorbs makes me almost change my entire opinion on dorbs. I think you're right. I don't like how big she is. She See, I like it. You do? Yes. I don't like how big she is. One I of the, feel like the, she's too heavy. One of the bigger problems I have with dorbs were I wish they were a little bigger. I don't know why, but I just did. I just wish they were a little bigger. And she's gigantic, man. She she makes the beast look. I don't know. I guess they're about the same size. I mean, size, maybe if but... Beast was a little bit bigger, I would be okay with it. But I feel like she just towers over him when it should be the opposite of that. <laughs> but the design I really like. I like her face. She's got little flirty eyelashes, and her hair is a cute little braided half do. So it's okay. I always liked Peasant Bell. Like, in it was a oh, cool yeah. look. Well, it's such a nice opening scene in the movie when the whole village comes together and yeah. everyone's singing. I really liked that. And then of course, you know. She's meeting the librarian, so I yeah, love that. Really nice dorm set. A lot of detail mm -hmm. in that. Alrighty, so that was a little look at some of the Beauty and the Beast live action movie pops and a few dorbs. A lot in this line. I mean, it's it's going to be a big seller, obviously, for Disney. Um, there's going to be a lot of fans, a lot of kids. They're going to go to it, a lot of adults. It's one of the good things about the live-action Disney movies. It brings both in. I was going to say, and they're not going to be bored. Right. Well, what's you know? great about it is it's going to bring new people into the genre, and it's going to bring the older people who grew up with it back to it. And it's like, yes, let's all get together. Now, let me show you the, the animation. You know, that's, <laughs> that's, right. that's the thing. It's like a kid like, Mommy, I want to see that. Okay. Now, let me show you where the good stuff no. is, the animation. You know, uh, I do have to say, those. Some of the live action movies have been very good. Yes, they have. They've been excellent. And I know you're really excited about one they're working on. I think now they might be working on it now. Yes, Mulan is my favorite Disney princess. Is she a princess or is she a warrior? I'm just saying. I'm both. so excited for that. I mean, you could be both. I mean, technically, there's a lot of them that do both, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, what I am excited about, which I know they're working on now through my favorite Disney animation of all time, the Lion King. The oh, Lion King yeah. is going to be a live action film too. It's going to be great, Can't but wait. I'm sorry, Mulan is going to be so good. How are they going to do Mushu? How are they going to do Mushu? Ooh, I don't know. There's a lot I in mean, there that's just going to be great. I can't wait for that. Now, Beauty and the Beast is going to be difficult for me to, I don't know, look at it in the same way as the animation because it was actually one of the first animations I ever saw. Because I mean, it kind of holds a special place in my heart. 
Um, but I'm up, I'm down for it, man. I want to go see it. I'm just going to say, when I watched the trailer, I was covered in goosebumps. And when they were like putting them side by side with the original version and then the new trailer, I was just floored by yeah. how good it they was. They matched those cameras. Yes. The camera scenes. The Very cool. It's like the they beat. thumbnailed from the, from the animation. Right. So cool. Now, what's really fun about this video, it's not only a review of some of the pops, it's also a giveaway. Yes, because somebody out there needs to own these, just not going to buy that's it. Right. Just that simple. <laughs> So in cooperation with Entertainment Earth, we're going to give away everything you see, basically. Um, lots of good stuff. I know you guys are going to be excited. This is a line that um, really kind of pushes the limits of what a pop is or can be. Absolutely. As far as detail does. and really matching a movie and not a cartoon. Mm -hmm. and every, there's a lot of good stuff going on in this line, and I know you guys are going to be excited about it. So once again, rules are going to be pretty close to the same. We're going to ask that you use hashtag nerd therapy giveaway on any of the social media formats that you're going to use, whether it's going to be Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. We'll throw a picture of all these guys and you just have to comment below. What should the comment be this time? What Disney movie would you want to see made into live action? Ooh, good question. We'll do that one. Let's do that one. What Disney animation movie do you want to see done in a live action film? What would yours be that hasn't been done yet? Well, I mean, they're making Mulan, so I can't really say too much because that's the one I really want, but maybe Snow White. That's what I was going to say. Really? Snow White's the one, biggest one I want to see. That's like their first one. That one has, mm -hmm. that animation has so many interesting stories. Did you guys know that the animators for Snow White worked so many hours <laughs> to get that thing done? They actually booked themselves to be in the hospital like a week later because they knew <laughs> they were going to be so tired by the time the movie was done that they would go immediately to the hospital. That is dedication, That's and that right. is love. But no doubt, that would be one of the coolest Disney... Can you imagine them in the scene where they're, like, uh, picking away for the uh, rubies oh. and stuff? Holy <laughs> crap, that would be amazing. I think they could do a great job with that. I foresee that on the horizon. Yeah. Also, if you wouldn't mind, you don't have to, share the video. Share it around whatever social media format that you do. Brownie points, I guess. That's right. brownie points. <laughs> and that's it. Another giveaway, a great pop line. Good luck. Hopefully the movie's as good as this pop line. I hope so. <laughs> and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.